Okay. All right. So uh, I was trying to use my laptop and that didn't work. So here, let me uh, see if I can. Oh, nope. Nope. It doesn't want me to rotate it. Okay. All right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it like that. <laughs> we're going to make this work. I'm in my living room. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, so I'm going to have to bring up a timer. I had the, t I was all set. I was going to do the the streaming from my laptop and had the timer on my phone and I was good to go. So we're just going to uh, throw an audible here. Is that even the right use of that phrase? And I am just going to start a stopwatch and that's how we're going to do this. Now if you have music you want to play, I recommend you go ahead and do that. If you want to wear your heart rate monitor, this is a great time to make sure you get that on, get that connected. Uh, and keep track of your fitness while you're at home because just because we're at home doesn't mean that we are losing track of our fitness goals. All right. So like I said, I had a whole different setup in mind, but this will have to do. I will warn you in advance. You might have a cameo from my dog, Loki, who is here with me on the floor. Um, so we'll make this work. Uh, I apologize in advance because I'll probably have to move the phone around so you can still see me as we go. All right. So... So without further ado, what do you say we get this party started with our one minute jog first up. So you're going to start by just doing some high knees. Let's go. Starting with just high knees in place. Just kind of get that body loose. Wake yourself up. It's early or late. I don't know when you're watching this. It's the beauty of our live videos. So you're just going to get that body moving. Get those knees up if you want to do some high, high knees. Get those knees up nice and high. A few seconds there. And then we're going to go ahead and drive those heels all the way back. Very good. Oh, feel that stretch. Feel that body waking up. Again, get those knees back out in front for our regular jog. I'm going to shake it out a little bit twisting hop it out again we're just getting that blood pumping first thing we're going to go into froggy 20 seconds of froggies coming up in three two and one froggies so you're down out on a plank and up and I'm pretty sure you can't see me do it so we're gonna set that down there ten more seconds down out and then up sorry I'm doing a burpee froggy you're just gonna hold that squat and actually, we're going to hold that squat right now. 10 seconds, just squat, hold. But you know what? We're going into burpees next. In three, two, and one. Give me burpees. Ready? Let's go. 20 seconds of burpees. Make sure you're hitting that squat, placing your feet, or <laughs> placing your feet on the outside of your hands, out into that plank. Bring those feet in wide and all the way up. You got this. A few more seconds here. Give me another burpee. You got this. Then when you're down in that plank, hold that high plank position. We're going into push-ups in three, two, and one. Give me regular push-ups for 10 seconds. And then we're going over to, into bicycles in three, two, and one. So just give me regular bicycles. Good job, keep it up. Make sure you're engaging that core. And then we're just gonna hold one side in three, two, and one. Hold, hold, hold. So whichever leg is extended, get that crunch going. And then we're going back into bicycles in three, two, let's go. Bicycle it out. So make sure you're lifting that chest. And as you're rotating, you're really feeling that contraction in your abs. That's what it's all about. Keep it up, keep breathing. Going to hold the other side now, ready to hold the other side in three, two, and one. Holding for 10 seconds, you got this. Then we're gonna take it all the way back up into our froggies, but keep holding. Ready, set, and go, let's froggy. So squat, out to that plank, up into our squat. Make sure you bring that chest all the way up, out into our plank, back into our squat. Again, coming up, into a good sturdy position, plank, back into our squat. We're just gonna hold the squat, ready, set, 
and hold, 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 hold. Enjoy that squat for a few seconds. Take some nice deep breaths while you're here and then let's go ahead and do your favorite burpees. Ready? Let's go. So we're burpeeing it out. All the way up. So we're down, out, and then bring it all the way up. Enjoy that burpee. You got a few more seconds here. Keep it up. Down one more time. Out and explode up. Good, good, good. And then we're just gonna do some push-ups in three, two, and one. So you're out, give me regular push-ups for 10 more seconds. <laughs> and then we're going to switch this up into just shoulder taps. So we're holding that high plank. Ready, set, and go. So you're just giving me the shoulder taps. We're almost there. We're reaching that five minute mark before you know it. So just giving me the shoulder taps, holding that plank steady. We're gonna come up and end on some high knees. Ready, set, and go. So we're up and we're running. We're just running. Get that heart rate up if you wanna get those knees super high, super charged. You have three, two, and one. You're done. That is our five minute warm up. Whew, quick fit. Hope y'all are enjoying it. I see you there. We got Brian, we have Joy, we have Melissa. Nice to see you this morning. And thank you to everyone who is watching later, whenever later might be. Apologies for the technical difficulties. We're figuring it out, don't worry. <laughs> All right. So take a quick breath, take a sip of water, and we're gonna go ahead and stretch it out. Resetting my timer for you. All right, stay. He doesn't wanna stay. There we go. All right, so I'll bring this back down here. We're gonna start with just those legs spread apart. Go ahead, take a nice deep breath in, and as you breathe in, tighten up that core, pull that belly button toward the ceiling, push that tailbone toward the ceiling. As you bring your chest on down, push that booty up, bring that chest down. We're gonna go ahead over toward our right leg and over toward the left. All right, now we're just going to go over into our right-sided runner's lunge. You can see this, you want your right leg out in front, shin straight up and down, high low key. Leg fully extended behind you. Good, feel that stretch. Let's drop that back knee, keep hinging forward. Feel that stretch in your hip. All right, bring your chest on up, keep hinging forward. Now we're going to extend that right arm out. Go ahead and take a deep breath. <sighs> and as you extend, or as you exhale, pull that arm across. Go ahead and look over your right shoulder. And switch. Left arm out, pulling it across. Very good. Shake it on out. Now we're going to sit back a little bit. We're just going to rock back. So we're anchoring that right heel on the mat, or on your carpet. Pull your hips back. Bring that chest forward. Very good. All right, and from here, let's go into our side split. So I'll, I'll adjust so you guys can still see me. But you're gonna wanna let that front leg slide forward. I think you're getting a close up of my foot right now. You're welcome. I know, it's a great foot. I'm very proud of it. So you're gonna try to settle in as deep as you can into that split. Let's come back. All right, now we're coming back into our standing split. So one more time, let's go on down and let's head on over into our left-sided runner's lunge. So I'm gonna do this from the side. So rotating into our left side. Here we go, have that left leg out in front, right leg fully extended behind us for a few seconds here. Let's go ahead and drop that back knee down. Tuck those toes against the floor. So as you're here, you should really feel the stretch in your hip flexor, helping open up our hips. I don't know about you, but I feel like my hips are always tight. So the more we can do to stretch, the better. All right, bring that chest on up. 
keep hinging forward. Let's take that right hand, drop it between our shoulder blades, grab onto that elbow. And switch. Working on those triceps. What do you think, Wilkes? She's not into it. It's fine. Shake those arms out. All right, let's anchor that left foot or left heel on the mat. Pull those hips back. Bring that chest forward. Ah, nice deep breaths while we're here. All right, and then we're just gonna take a nice deep breath. Last stretch, slide on out into our split. So again, just as far as you can go, whatever that looks like for you, progress is progress is progress. So take a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let your body relax a little bit deeper into the stretch. It'll happen, you'll get there. All right, and that is the last stretch that I have for you. Our quick fit set of stretches, so stretch out anything else you like for the next few seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my gloves, you should too. I will reset our timer. Huh. The stopwatch on my phone. Making do, folks, we're making do. Alrighty, so how are we doing? Feeling good? Feeling ready for this? So in addition to the technical difficulties, when I turn my phone sideways to get the nice landscape video we all love, it was not working. <laughs> so again, I apologize for the series of technical difficulties I've had this morning, but I appreciate you hanging in there with me. All right, let's get three. See, this time around I can use a timer. Hey. All right, so I'm gonna set our timer for three minutes. And you know what's up first. We got our jab cross. All right, girlfriend, that's really not gonna work right there. Come on, come on, move, baby. Move, baby, thank you. Come on, Loki, Loki. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with our jab cross. So make sure those elbows stay in, right? We're not flailing out like this. I don't want you punching with your elbows out where you're just kinda hitting wherever those hands might end. I want everything nice and tight. We're gonna keep our elbows right by our side, by our rib cage. Hands are gonna stay up. When I send out that jab, rotating that wrist so my palm is always down. Same thing with that cross. Now make sure you stay light on those feet. We're ready for anything here, right? We're not flat footed doing this. We're up on our feet. We're ready to throw those punches. So starting with our jab cross, give me that one, two punch, ready. Let's go, three minutes on the clock. Starting with jab, cross, jab, cross. I'll join you in a second, as soon as I can see that timer. All right, got that jab, cross. Make sure, again, you wanna stay light on your feet. You don't wanna stay flat-footed. You wanna get that nice, high-energy workout in, so we're gonna stay up on the balls of our feet, ready to flow through those punches. Jab, cross, jab, cross. All that power is coming from our core. So urgh, keep those abs nice and tight. We got jab, cross, jab, cross, right? Jab, cross. Very good, very good. Throwing out those punches, getting that heart rate up, feeling those arms wake up, doing good. Come on, y'all, you got this. Jab, cross, jab, cross. All right, we're gonna go into just jabs. Give me just that left side. Ready, let's go. Throwing out just that left side. Remembering your technique, so you're still rotating that wrist, sending out good jabs, right? We're not just standing there dangling our arm in front of us. I want full extended arm jabs. Extend that arm almost all the way out. We're going about 98%, right? We don't want to hyperextend, but we want that full extension, no T-Rex jabs. We're gonna switch it up to just crosses. Ready, let's go. Cross, cross, cross cross. So you're rotating, you're pivoting your body into that punch. So as I move and I thrust my fist forward, my shoulder, my hip, my knee, everything's coming along for the ride because it's all connected. My core is nice and tight. I like sound effects, so I apologize in advance for all of my sound effects. Let's go back and just do a one, two punch. Ready, set, and go. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Good, so you're throwing out one, two, one, two. All right, let's go up to four punches. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Very good. Keep it up, keep it up. You got this. Feeling good. Make sure we exhale through the punch. Back to guard. All right, last 30 seconds. Let's do 20 jab cross and two jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, nine, 20. One, two, 20 jab cross, two jumping jacks. You got this, 15 seconds on the clock. Twenty, bam! One, two, make that last cross something fierce. You got it. Keep it going. You have three, two, and one. There you go. Got it. Got it. All right. Good job. You guys are excellent. I know it. I just know it. Uh, you're doing fantastic out there. So now that those arms are all warmed up, round number two. We're gonna work on some double punching, but it's double punching on the same side. So it's gonna be left hook, left upper, right upper, right hook. And I wanna see that four punches as one solid combo. So it's hook, upper, upper, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, hook. And I like this because it's all your abs are gonna be helping you out here. You gotta use that core to rein in that punch Bring it back to the down, bring it back to the down here. The elbows locked at your side. You got that left uppercut, right uppercut, and a right hook. So make sure on that hook, elbows up, pivot in, bring it back, left upper, right upper, right hook. So you gotta out, back, up, up, and bam. So you'll see what I mean about control and how that feels. Make sure you're engaging all those muscles, getting that full body workout in. Hook, upper, upper, hook. Left, left, right, right. Let's go. Your round has started. Left hook, left upper, right upper, and a right hook. Left hook, left upper, right upper, and a right hook. Oh, bam, bam, bam. So make sure your hook, you still want your elbow up, Remember when you're doing your uppercuts, your elbows locked in at your side and you're pivoting. You're using that whole body core is tight for that uppercut. It's like a dance. Think of these as dance moves and they flow from one to the next. Hook, upper, upper, hook. One, two, three, four. Uh, 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 uh. You got it, get it. Uh, 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 uh. Feel that combination. Exhale through those punches. I know it can be easy to leave out that break and to go straight hook, hook, upper, upper, but I want you to try to nail it as that four punch combo. I want you to give yourself that break. That way your body has to reset and you get used to uh, using those muscles. That's what we want. Hook, upper, upper, hook. All right, let's take a quick break though and do non-stop uppercuts. Nothing but uppercuts, ready? And go, upper. So again, you're pulling that wrist back to guard. We're not like this, just sweeping our arms, swinging our arms around. We wanna keep that form, keep that technique. You don't wanna cheat yourself. So you're keeping that elbow tight, uh, pivoting your whole body into that uppercut. Core is tight. Just about five more seconds, y'all. You got this. In three, two, and one. Woo, one minute on the clock. Let's go back. Left hook, left upper, right upper, and a right hook. Hook, upper, upper, hook. You're doing great. You got this. Keep that movement going. Just keep that body moving. Hook, upper, upper. Left hook, left upper, right upper, right hook. Think about taking off someone's head with those hooks. You got this, just 25 seconds on the clock. Keep that body moving. All right, we're gonna end the round with some non-stop uppercuts. Ready, set, and go. Upper, upper, upper. Here's your 10 second knock. Knock, knock, knock. Keep those elbows in. 
Upper, 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 upper. Come on, you got this. You are relentless. Ready, and time. Oh, that's it, we made it. We made it. All right, good job, y'all. Get some water, quick water. Deep breaths in through your nose. Now through your mouth. Whew. Bring that heart rate down. All right, round number three. We're gonna do some kicks. You ready for this? So we're starting off with jab, cross, cross. Then left front kick, hook, hook, and right front kick. That's what it is. I'm reading my handwriting here. Jab, cross, cross. Left front kick, hook, hook, and a right front kick. So very easy. We're just gonna jab, cross, cross. Starts out nice, come back to guard. Rock back to your back foot. You want your weight on your right foot. Lift that left knee for a left front kick. Make it mean. Remember, we're not cheating on these moves. We're not just dangling that leg out there. I want you to lift that knee and bam! Left front kick, left hook, right hook. And then we're gonna put our weight on our front foot for that right front kick. Now you don't necessarily need to slide back because we have space, right? We're in our homes, living rooms, kitchens, wherever you might be. So you're just gonna lift that right knee, right front kick. Jab, cross, cross, left, hook, hook, right. All right, getting started right now. Start that round. Jab, cross, cross, left front kick, hook, hook, and a right front kick. Jab, cross, cross, bam, hook, hook, and bam. Hmm. Might add something in there, that left hook, right hook, cross. Hmm. Cross, cross. Left front kick, hook, hook. Ooh. Ah, we'll leave it as it is. I like it as it is. Let's do it. Jab, cross, cross. Left front kick. Control those hooks. Control that body. And then transition into that right front kick on the end. And I want you to make every move count. Make it fierce. You got this. Jab, cross, cross. Left front kick, hook, hook. Right front kick. Oh, yeah. Remember, we're gonna stay nice and light on our feet. We gotta make it count. Jab, cross, cross, left front kick, hook, hook, right front kick. Jab, cross, cross, left front kick, hook, hook, and a right front kick. You got this, you got this. Come on, keep those hands up, keep that body moving. Remember to breathe through all your punches. Oh yeah, you got this. We are halfway through this round. Keep that body going. Remember to pay attention to your whole body. Is your core nice and tight? Are your hands up at guard, the hands that aren't punching? What is your body doing? Pay attention to all that technique. Jab, cross, cross, hi-ya. Hook, hook, and hi-ya. Jab, cross, cross, left front kick. Hook, hook, right front kick. On your hooks, make sure your elbow's up. We're not hooking down here around our waist. We're not doing body hooks. I want head hooks, left head hook, right head hook, ending on that right front kick. One minute to go. You got this. Jab, cross, cross, left front kick, hook, hook. Right front kick. You should really feel this in your core, especially on the rotation of those hooks. Feel that in your abs. Jab, cross, cross. Left front, hook, hook, and that right front kick. Nice and light in our feet. We're going to go into non-stop front kicks. Front kicks only, ready, set, and go. So just give me that left, right, left, right, and pro tip. You wanna work those abs even more, keep those hands up, left, right, left. But you're not losing any of that power or the technique. We're making our abs work harder. That's the idea. Should be harder, more engaging, pushing ourselves to the next level. You got this. And time. We're there already. Whew. Oh man, that was round three, y'all. You know what that means? We got round four, which is our final round here for our quick fit. All right. So, get some water while I explain to you round four. We're gonna start with a right 
knee or a right roundhouse if you want to try that. But it's just a right knee into a right front kick, cross, left uppercut, left knee. So on those knees, make sure, I want you thinking about, you're grabbing someone's head and then you smoosh it down for that right knee into that right front kick, cross, left uppercut, and then head smash, right? Because we're badass, right? We're pretty fierce. So we're gonna take that, go, and as we crunch, you should really feel that in your abs. Pull that knee up for that right knee, right front kick, cross, left uppercut, ending on that left knee. You can do this as a controlled roundhouse if you want, but you do not have to. This will work just as well for those abs. Oh yeah, all about the abs. Remember summertime when we can all go outside again and you're gonna have a great six pack because you've been spending all that time in your house working on your abs? Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. All right, y'all, round number four. Ready, set. Ding, 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 let's go, round four. Right roundhouse, right front kick, cross, left upper, and a left roundhouse. So right knee, right front kick, cross, upper, left, right, right front kick, cross, upper, and left. So make sure you stay light on those feet. Keep that energy up. Right, right, cross, upper, left, right, right front, cross, upper, left, now double check on those punches, are you giving me good punches, or are we just copping out because you're focusing on the kicks, I still want a nice full cross, and that left uppercut elbow stays nice and tight to your side, and that right hand is up at guard, so I still need good punches in the middle of those awesome kicks, right roundhouse, right front kick, cross, upper, ending on that left roundhouse. You got it, you got it, keep it up. We are one minute into the round. We're just getting started, y'all. Have some fun with it. Right round, right front, cross, upper, left round. You guys are looking fantastic. I've never seen better roundhouses. Right knees from y'all. Come on, you got it, hey yeah, yeah. Cross, upper, and yeah. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Light on those feet, light on those feet. Right, right front, cross, upper, left round. All right, for our final round, or the last minute, the final minute of this round, we're gonna double up on those knees. So give me right, right, right front kick, cross, upper, left, left. So double knees, right, right, right front kick, cross, left uppercut, left, left. Now make sure when you're doubling up that you're going full extension. I want you to get that full contraction in your abs for that second crunch. Right front, cross, left upper, one, two, and then back and do it all over again. One, two, right front, cross, upper, one, two. Come on, you got it. 25 seconds left, y'all. You got this, 25, that's it. Give me a couple more rounds, you got this. How many can you fit into the next 15 seconds? One, two, right front, cross, upper, one, two. There's your 10 second knock. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Can you give me at least one more full round? You have three, two, one, and time. Good job, high five. Social distance, video five. Whew. All right, way you go. But you know, we're not quite done yet. So, our speed round. Resetting my timer for one minute. For the first 30 seconds, we're just doing double punches. Remember, I really like that uppercut and that hook because it engaged our abs. Well, I want more of those. Try doubling up punches on the same side. So it doesn't have to be jab, jab. It can be jab, hook, upper hook, whatever you want. But keep it double on the same side for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna do some alternating roundhouses or knees, alternating knees for 30 seconds. I know, you're gonna love it. Ready, set. 
and go. 30 seconds of double punches, double punches. So cross, hook, cross, hook. Really engaging that core, getting that full body workout. Make sure you're pivoting into your punches. Don't cheat yourself. You're just gonna cheat on those results that we all want. 10 more seconds, double punch and cross, hook, hook. Almost there. We're gonna go into those alternating knees. Ready, set, and go. Alternating, one, two. So make sure when you do this, you're really trying to get that hip over and getting that crunch. Oh yeah, that feels good. Exhale, through this movement, you have 10 seconds. Keep it up, no quitting now. Makes no sense to quit now, you're so close. Ready, and oh. time. Saved by the bell. All right, how are we doing, good? We are almost there, get yourself some water. And I'm gonna reset our timer. All right, last little bit I have for you, heart conditioning. <sighs> I don't know, I, I'm, I'm sweating, and I was trying to talk to you through the workout. I've always been bad at working out and talking at the same time, so I apologize for panting at you. All right, final conditioning. We are going to work on some planks. We're going to do 30 seconds of an elbow plank. And then we're going to rotate right over into a right side plank, then a left side plank. And for the last 30 seconds, we're going to do walking push-ups, which is basically a plank, right? High plank, low plank, high plank. So if you were doing the math, that is two whole minutes of planking. We got this. We're going to do it. It's going to be great. If at any time you feel like you need to drop out, take a breath, take a beat. That's fine. But then get right back into it. Don't let yourself quit completely. If you need to drop out, do it, and then get right back. We're not taking any breaks. We're going right from one to the next for two whole minutes. You got this? You with me? You ready? All right. Get ready, get set, and go. So we're gonna start with that elbow plank. This is good accountability, because planks are like my least favorite thing to do. I'm not gonna lie to you, they're very challenging for me. Even after all these years of coming to kickboxing. All right, 10 more seconds of this elbow plank. And then we're going to go on over into a right side plank or left, you pick, pick a side. Ready, set, and go. So trying to quickly transition. Oh, I'm gonna take the timer with me. So hold up that side. Make sure you lift that hip up, engaging those obliques. If you want to add a challenge, you can scoop under you and then back up. We're going to rotate to the other side in about five seconds. So just keep holding, holding, rotating to that left side in three, two, and one. Rotating around as quick as you can. Hit it. Get there and hold. Keep that hip up. You guys are doing great. You look fantastic. Best planks I've ever seen, y'all. Really, keep it up, keep it up. Keep that core tight. 10 more seconds. Again, if you want that challenge, you can scoop under and over. Going into our walking push-ups. In three, two, one. Oh yeah, everyone's favorite, the walking push-up. So we're high, then we're low. Coming up high, trying not to rock that body any more than absolutely necessary. 15 seconds. How are we doing? Abs feeling pretty good, right? Here's your knock. Knock, knock, knock. Keep it up, don't stop. Almost there. You have three, two, and one. Whew. Who made it? Who's with me, who made it? I know y'all did. Turn that off. Ah, oh, you did so good. Oh, I'm so proud of all of you. You did a great job. All right, take some deep breaths. We're gonna stretch it out a little bit because it's good to stretch. Always good to stretch. 
All right. So that was your quick fit workout. We're gonna stretch it out. Thank you to everyone who's made it this far. So normally we would floor pancake, but my dogs have been laying on this carpet and I don't wanna get dog hair on me. So we're gonna modify a little bit. We're gonna take that step forward. We're gonna lunge. <laughs> Go ahead and connect those hands behind you. Just reach on back. Whew. Pull, pull down, open up those shoulders. Very good. Let's switch legs. So right leg out in front, pull those shoulders down. Very good. Whew. Bringing that heart rate back on down. You guys are doing great. All right, so let's come on up. I just wanna kinda of dangle here for a second. Bring that chest on down. If you can see me, I don't know. So you should feel that stretch up the back of your legs. Whew. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, start to lift on up. We're gonna reach all the way up. Reach up high. Come on over to the right side. Ooh, back to the center. Off to the left. All right. Now you can always, if you want to, uh, the stretch like we do on the bag, you can always grab a door jam. And just kinda open up your shoulder that way. It's a fun way to do it friendly door jam or a chair, another human in your household, whatever you want. They can partner stretch with you for this as well. Really uh, got my heart rate up. I don't know about y'all. Listen to me regain my breathing. All right. Go ahead and pick up that right foot. Stretch out that quad. So you should kind of be able to like Engage those hip flexors, so you're kind of pivoting. I don't have the right words. It's early, but you're opening up that hip into that stretch. There we go. So I don't know what exciting plans you guys have for the day. And get this, I'm a work from home. Woo -woo! I, get, I am privileged, I am privileged in that I get to work from home. If anyone out there is part of our essential personnel out there keeping the world going round, thank you so much for everything y'all are doing. Uh, quite literally, you are saving lives. So thank you for everything you're doing. Healthcare workers, grocery workers, all the essential workers. You guys are rock stars, really, really, really. So, but I'm gonna do my part and stay home. The only time I go outside is to walk the dogs. <laughs> Apart from that, we're in the house. So I hope everyone else does the same. Stay home if you can. Be safe. Be well. We love you. You are a kickboxing family. And we're going to get through this together. So thanks for an epic workout. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.